And why do you think people aren't more concerned about the possibility of a world war? <sighs> I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I am surprised, I must say, uh, about the, the indifference of much of Western youth to this. But I suppose it's just been a long time since the Cold War. It's been a long time since Vietnam. There was a, a generation somewhere from the late 60s to the 90s uh, in which parts of the American mainstream media actually did play a role in challenging the establishment uh, on um, key issues of, of foreign policy. Amazing to remember now that the Washington Post for a while was seen as you know, an anti-establishment paper um, and that the Washington Post and the New York Times did play a role a limited one, but still in, you know, revealing American-backed atrocities in Central America, for example. I mean, if you reckon that most of the population, you know, d doesn't give a damn, is totally uninterested, is is too busy, you know, painting its face and you know, chattering on social media. And the ones who are interested are being, you know, spoon-fed by, um, you know, establishment propagandists masquerading as journalists. I suppose it's not wholly surprising. Mm. Uh, there's also a line, you know, which even David Brooks uh, has said recently, in the past, uh, uh, journalism was a working class profession. Journalists did not have high prestige, nor did they have high pay. Um, my, my, one of my closest friends and teachers and mentors, in fact, two of them, had never been to university at all. That's almost inconceivable now. Both of them work, uh, one working for the BBC, the other for the Guardian. Oh, yeah. You know, they didn't much like the upper middle classes. They didn't much like the establishment because they weren't part of them. Now, of course, you know, journalists, I mean, particularly anyone associated with, with Washington is a member of that establishment, gone to the same universities, same attitudes, go to the same parties, right. have the same aspirations. Basically, they're, they're not going to um, betray their class or their friends.